Hey you guys, it's Shandera. What is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. And in today's video, we are trying another sunscreen hack and apparently you are supposed to be using makeup brushes. Now, a lot of y'all had a lot to say in the last video. <laughs> Apparently the makeup brushes are actually really popular to apply sunscreen with as opposed to the beauty blender and the beauty sponge. So we're going to try this sunscreen. So I have two sunscreens here. I have the Sheer Tip Mineral Sunscreen. It left me a white cast, but I'm hoping this time um, if I layer it the right way, um, I'll get it correct. And then I have the Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer uh, sunscreen with the SPF of 50. This one leaves me a white cast and it's a chemical sunscreen. I was layering wrong according to a lot of you. You gotta like do two pumps. So here we go with the two pumps. <laughs> one two and it's supposed to look like this and then you're supposed to like apply it to your face like this oh my god it's gonna work and not leave a white cast okay i oh my god this is working um is this really oh my god this is really working let me get the mirror oh my it is y'all is there a white cast it's a little bit, but I feel like if I blend it in really, really well, there would be virtually no white cast. So I use two more pumps because four pumps of sunscreen, in my personal opinion, is full coverage. So we are going to see, but I'm already shocked. Look at me layering properly. Ooh, I am so happy. <laughs> I listen to y'all and look it, I am layering correctly and the white cast is gone. Oh my God, you guys were right. Look at this. I am shocked. Okay, you know what? <laughs> the mirror, this looks kind of bad, but in the screen finder, this looks really good. <laughs> So we're gonna use like the poofy makeup brush to see if we get a bit of a difference so I am gonna apply like two pumps like normal and then I'm gonna just brush it oh my god this side looks worse already oh I have a bad feeling <laughs> Oh my God, this looks bad already. What is going on? Y'all, I'm left-handed. I really am. Maybe that's why, because I'm left-handed. So, you know, okay, it's working a bit. <laughs> that's what happens when you use the wrong hand. Oh, you know. <laughs> Sometimes we do things backwards, but it is, oh my God, this is working better with the makeup brush. <gasps> oh my God, it's working better with this one. Oh my God, it's working a little bit better. What do you guys think? Like this side looks more drier and this side has a bit of a glow. What do you guys think? Let me do a close up. This side doesn't look as bad as this side. It looks more of a glow. And that was just with two pumps. We got two more to go. We go, I'm really excited. Why do I always get it in my mouth? All the metallic taste. Oh my God, this ain't blending in. <laughs> It was good with the first two pumps, but this is looking a mess. What is going on? Okay, hold on. Let me blend this in really, really well, because I'm kind of concerned. <laughs> it's messing the brush up, though. But <laughs> Now, this was a hack I saw uh, all the TikTok moms doing. So, I mean, TikTok moms, y'all are on to something with this hack, honey. Um, so here's my side with this brush. What do you guys think? And here is my side with this brush. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a close up so you guys can see. So here's my face with the light down with this brush. Here's my cheek. Here is my forehead. And here's my chin. And here is my face with this brush. Cheek chin i mean forehead and chin what do you guys think i think this one did a way better job i was expecting it to be worse because this one is more denser but since i got no white cast 
We should try it with the CeraVe Hydrating Sheer 10 because this sort of kind of mimic my skin tone. So I'm going to go wash my face so we can try it with this because this is really, if this works, I could finally use these botched CeraVe sunscreens. Okay, you guys, so let's try the same hack with the mineral sunscreens that give you like the worst white cast. I do want to say this. I did change my shirt because I was washing my face and my shirt got really, really wet. So I have to change shirts. Um, I did use Good Molecules uh, Rose Waller Daily Cleansing Gel just to cleanse my face. I did it twice. I did use a little bit of coconut oil. I know y'all shaking. The skincare community ingredient nerds are shook. But it really works to get sunscreen off and that's what I enjoy. With that being said, let's get into this. Now I am using two different brushes this time. Um, I'm going to use this brush because y'all know I don't like cross contamination and I didn't want the brushes to be wet or damn I wanted them to be dry so now I'm using two different brushes they're of, they're the same brushes but I actually have two sets of these and two sets of these so <laughs> so one squeeze and two squeezes okay so that's how much I'm using and let's see oh my god oh no that's not enough sunscreen oh no <laughs> is not enough sunscreen uh-uh y'all I gotta put on a little more I'm sorry this is gonna be like a six pump one two um, sunscreen has to work um, you have to apply a lot of sunscreen if the sunscreen doesn't go all over your face or glide it ain't working and that's probably why y'all some of y'all be burning in the sun so <laughs> it literally doesn't look as bad as when I used it with my hands and with the beauty blender like this is really doing a great job and I used a lot let me get one more layer just to be on the safe side so I know I got full coverage and see so this is how much I use oh my god this hack is working I want to cry <laughs> it doesn't look bad with a little BB cream even in regular light this is look I am shocked you know what I am shocked so shocked oh my god oh my god we found our hat I am I am shocked I am super excited right now now let's try with this brush you have to layer with this amount the same way oh my god look at every time I do this y'all know I'm left-handed always using my right hand okay let's see oh this looking bad <laughs> This is looking bad, I'm telling you right now, uh-uh. You know what, we gonna have to blend. You know how they say blend with makeup? Blend with that sunscreen, girl, blend it. <laughs> oh, this looking real bad. Oh my God, oh, oh, honey, mm-mm. <laughs> I'm gonna have to blend this in real good, honey, because we got two more layers to go. <laughs> so I have to use the side of the brush just to get it to blend in well. Um, we got two more layers to go of this sunscreen. I don't think it's going to work with this brush. I mean, the brush is looking like a fan brush. I mean, come on, get puffy. Uh, but we are going to do it. I'm going to do the same with this one. That's how much is similar to the last two I used. Because some of y'all will be like, I'm being biased. But, oh, this is looking bad. <laughs> um, honey, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this hack with this brush in the middle. Ooh, like it's virtually no sunscreen over here. Then you get over here and it's like, girl. <laughs> oh, I really try and after vigorously beating my face, I finally got it to blend in. I'm not gonna use another layer cause I'm kinda scared that this may start getting real right. But um, it really ruins my brush. Can y'all see like it's, it's literally like lopsided. <laughs> <laughs> and it's real streaky you know how we if you like paint and you paint with a wet brush or you use like a wet brush to put your makeup on and it start looking real streaky um this is kind of what this did with the sheer tint um CeraVe mineral sunscreen so girl um I don't think you <laughs> Here is my face with this brush and the sheer tint CeraVe mineral sunscreen. I mean, this virtually looks like my skin tone. I could literally wear this sunscreen out in public now and feel good about it because I use this hack. So, you know, if you are of dark skin tones, 
it couldn't hurt to finally be able to try this you just need you a really good makeup brush like this now on this side of the face um, you would have to blend in a lot, but if you wear makeup and you are of dark skin tones, I will say this, you could get it to work. Um, I should put some BB cream on just to see if it will work, but I'm kind of scared. And it doesn't look that bad with my skin tone with the light down. Um, it look real shiny and streaky, girl. Um, just don't use it with this brush. <laughs> Girl, good luck. Um, looking in the screen finder and looking at my neck, I now realize that I am not ever wearing CeraVe's sheer tint sunscreen in public. Y'all can't pay me to wear this sunscreen in public. I'm just not gonna do it. But however, if you do want to use it, girl, you gonna need a really good foundation or a BB cream or maybe like some powder and like blend it in a little bit with the sunscreen. But I think if you have similar skin tones to um, the CeraVe Sheer Tint Sunscreen um, and you didn't like using it with your hands, I think you really should invest in some really great makeup brushes to use this sunscreen with um, and you'll get really great results with it. So if you don't like a lot of friction and a lot of rubbing on your skin, I think using it with the brush will help you get way better results from it. Like I said in my last video, honestly, it really just depends on the sunscreen you are using. I can't go out in public looking like this, like my face look real fair and lovely. <laughs> it really do, it really do. <laughs> look at my neck and look at this. What is going on? I look like real ashy, like I look like real, like <laughs> tried to be positive about this situation but looking in the screen finder y'all I look a hot mess this sunscreen real botched however I like the technique I really do I really like the makeup brushes I would say and the beauty blender and the beauty sponge and I like the makeup brushes so you know what I am all for this technique I may try it on Sonomi however I just rub shea butter all over her face and sunscreen over her face but if you don't like touching your child face and you know you afraid that they be crying and trying to fight you then I think this technique will work for you however you know I I'm getting in there girl you better move them hands and let me massage these oils and uh sunscreen in your face <laughs> that's just what i do but you know if you're not that type of mom then go ahead and use the makeup brushes i think your child will like it because it makes it seem like you're applying makeup to their face and sonomi loves when she can pretend to be applying makeup to her face with that being said you guys let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you subscribe to the channel Channel, make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in our next video. Bye you guys. Mwah.